I am back with a Shein summer bikini haul. And I'm going to try all of these on for you guys. I got a couple of the most popular bikinis and the ones that look the best on Shein. Got all of these super cute bikinis. At least they look really cute online. So I'm gonna try them on for you guys and I'll link them all down below so you can see whether or not it's worth it to buy it. As you know, Shein can be really hit or miss. Sometimes it looks exactly like it looks on the model and other times it looks absolutely nothing like it looks like online. So that's why I'm going to try them on for you guys. If I ever have a last minute trip, I usually run to Shein and order a bunch of bikinis that I can wear for content so that I have different bikinis on in different pictures and I don't have to worry about the cost of it. I can just order a bunch and keep the ones that I like and send back the ones that I don't. So. It does take a little bit for them to come. I would say usually the Shein orders come around two weeks. So keep that in mind, but you won't have to wait to see what they look like on because I'm gonna try them on for you. By the way, these are all some of the new styles for summer of 2022. We just wrapped up spring break. And so these are some of the new styles coming out for the summer, which is coming up so quickly. I can't believe it. I feel like it was just New Year's Eve. So here is the first bikini that I'm gonna show you guys. It looked really, really cute online. Um, very yellow and colorful for spring slash, slash summer. It does look a little bit different than it did online. It was like more of a pink color. It's kind of showing up pink on camera, but it is red in person, um, red and yellow. So not sure if I love that cause you know, ketchup and mustard um, but I can always edit this to look pink and yellow in photos which is what I'm going for um, so I'll try it on and we'll see if it's worth it the material you can see is kind of cheap um, but you really wouldn't know it really depends how it looks on so let's try it on okay so this one is actually so cute on. I was a little bit nervous when I was holding it. Um, but yeah, I love it. So the material was kind of iffy when I was holding it, but putting this swimsuit on, it feels really nice. It looks really nice. This, um, what did you call this? This tie going up like this, I think is super, super flattering. I love how it makes my body look, the cut of it, everything, the color. The bottoms are a little bit cheeky, probably cheekier on me because I got some booty. Um, this, I believe, is a size extra small. I'm usually a size small. Um, I can go anywhere from extra small to mediums with swimsuits. So this it was the extra small, but I could definitely wear a small also. This one's a little tight, but 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The second bikini I got is very neutral tones, which I love, especially on the beach. I just think it looks really good on everyone's skin tone, especially um, with my blonde hair. I just love how beige tones look on me. Um, this one is super nice. The fabric you can see is really high quality and this I think costs maybe 10 to $20. I'll link it below and let you know, but um yeah the quality is amazing we'll see what it looks like on the bottoms look like this they're kind of like cheekier bottoms um these type of bottoms are more flattering on me since i'm a little bit more of a muscular build i like the high cut cheeky bottoms they make my legs look longer so we'll see what this looks like i like this one also i think it's really flattering the top the material is good on the top so it gives um, a lot of a lift up here. And the bottoms are just your typical, normal bikini bottoms. Um, the only thing with this one is you can see on the top here, the um, lining shows a little bit. So that's the only downside to this one, but I think overall, I would wear this. Um, it just bothers me here because I, I want to shoot in this swimsuit, so I'm not sure how that's going to look, but 
I probably still will anyway. So overall, I give this one seven out of 10. This top is the one I was the most excited about to try on that I ordered. I've had it on my wish list for a while now. I just didn't have anything to wear it to. There were no bottoms that matched this, but I think this would be really cute with some purple bottoms or some multicolor high cut bottoms. Um, it feels amazing. It feels really high quality. You can see it has the cups in the back. So I'm gonna try this on with some swimsuit bottoms that I already have. Here is the mermaid top. I'm gonna call it the shell top. I just paired it with these lilac bottoms that I already had. I just pictured this with lilac. I think if I wore this, honestly, you could wear it with any swimsuit bottoms. I think it would look good with anything, preferably probably something plain since this is a lot. Um, but I love it. It's, it's super well made. It feels expensive. It looks expensive, even though it was very cheap. It's just a regular hook. Oh wait, no, it's a tie in the back. A regular tie in the back so you can adjust it however tight or loose you would like. I think this looks really nice. I really want to shoot in this um, and style this bikini with maybe like some Chanel jewelry. Just something that looks very expensive, like on a pool chair at the beach. Just so it gives a very luxury vibe. 10 out of 10. Next we have a red bikini. I thought this one was unique because it has these little sleeves. I think you call this like Bardot style. I think it would look really cute. I'm supposed to go to Panama and work with the Marriott Hotel there with my blog, wanderinghills.com. If you haven't seen my website, I'll link it down below. That's my travel blog. Um, so it comes with this top and the regular cheeky cut swimsuit bottoms. And I'm really excited to try this. I think it, it'll be cute. It feels really nice. The material is good. The stitching is all over the place, but I mean, it's Shein, but who cares? It's just a swimsuit. So let's try it on. Okay, now this red one is cute. It definitely is not really true to size. The sizing is a little strange. So this is a size small, which usually is my size. The bottoms are honestly huge on me. I tied them really tight. Um, the good thing is they give a little bit more coverage than the other ones, but you can see in the front, it's a little bit low. So it's like small in the front, large in the back. I had to tie them super tight. I would feel like I would have to continue tying it tighter as I wear it. Um, but you can't tell as much. You can see that it's kind of like turning out even. So the material is pretty cheap on this one, honestly, but I think it would look really cute in photos. It does give a very Caribbean beachy vibe. The top doesn't look as nice as I thought it would. It's like a little saggy. I don't know. The pads are kind of like separated. You can see I'm like moving them. So I don't love that. It does look a little cheap. Would it look cheap in a photo? Probably not. Would it look cheap wearing it to the beach? Probably. Um, but it is different and cute. I, I like what it was going for here. Um, this tie, you can tie it looser or tighter if you'd like. So if you wanted it to be more square, you can do that. If you want it to come more in, you can tie it tighter. So I had it kind of halfway. So I would give this one probably a four at a time, but I'm probably still gonna wear it. We have this green piece. Okay, it comes with a skirt. So this is a three piece set. It's mint. I like the color. The color came out as it was supposed to. And the top looks really nice. It's the O-ring style and it's a textured fabric. It looks really pretty. And the bottoms are just regular high cut bottoms. These are not lined, so kind of cheap on that side. But again, if it's just for like an Instagram picture, um, it's probably fine, but I'll try it on and let you guys know. And then it comes with this skirt. It also came with this. I don't know if this is a choker, a headband. I don't know, but it's cute. Okay, now this mint piece felt a little strange when I was holding it, but on, I think it looks really nice. 
and luxurious. Um, I would definitely size up in this one. This is a size small and it's a little too small on me. The bottoms kind of give a little bit here. They have pretty good coverage though. I, I just would size up, I, but I would be afraid that the bottoms might be a little too big if I sized up, but I don't like how they're squeezing my sides right here and how they look like this, but let's try it on with the skirt. The skirt seems a little big on me. It's really, really cute. Um, you can see with the reflection of the window here that it's a little bit sheer. Well, not sheer, but it's so thin you can see through it. Like you can see my muscles through here, um, but it isn't see-through necessarily. I think I'm gonna see if I can tie these tighter. Okay, so I think this is really cute set. I can definitely see myself wearing this on vacation. And then there's this piece. I don't know what this is. I didn't see it in the picture. Okay, no, it definitely doesn't go here. <laughs> definitely doesn't go there. Um, like, what it, does it go here? Maybe. I guess you could. Well. Let me try it. I mean, I guess you could wear it like that. Kind of as an outfit. I don't know. I don't know, I guess like that's kind of a vibe. Let me see what it looks like as a headband. If I can <laughs> even get it off. Okay. <laughs> see? Um, <laughs> uh, I look like an egghead, but overall, I give this look a six or seven out of ten. Next, I have another yellow bikini. Obviously, yellow is my favorite color, and I love oh. It feels like, weird, it feels like cotton, like clothing. Um, it looks really cute, but would I actually get in the water in this? Probably not. You can see the cup inside here, and I would assume that when this gets wet, you would be able to see the insert right through. It feels nice if you're just wearing it to the beach or just wearing it outside and not actually getting in the water um like the texture looks really nice with this ribbed material but um it, i feel like it would sag if you were swimming because it just feels like a t-shirt would feel so i didn't really expect that it's not really swimsuit material but these are the bottoms i do think it'll look really cute on um so maybe cute for like a beach day but swimming probably not so much okay so this yellow one looked the cutest online, like probably one of my favorites on the models. I do have to say it's very comfortable. I mean, it's not swimsuit material. It's more like cotton clothing material. So it's very breathable and comfortable. So if I was just chilling at the beach, I would love this. Probably wouldn't get in the water with it again. Um, the bottoms fit a little strange like they have a lot of slack and you can see in the back like there's just a lot of extra fabric here which I think is because of the fabric that they used I do love the top I think it fits really great I was nervous putting it on um, but then I realized because it doesn't have like the adjustable straps here but I realized with this tie you can tighten it or loosen it if you'd like so this pulls this strap to tighten. So I do really like that. I think it's cute. I think it would look cute in pictures. It's comfortable. It would be comfortable to wear around the house if you're not really swimming. Um, so, but because you can't swim in it and the bottoms are different, I think overall I would give it four out of 10. And last but not least, I have this monokini. I actually only ordered one one piece, I guess. Um, this looked really nice online. It looked like the material is really nice. Now that I'm seeing it in person, 
a pretty cheap quality, I mean, but it was cheap, so there's that. It might look good on, it doesn't look hopeful as I'm holding it in my hands, it does not look hopeful, but we'll see what it looks like on. The stitching is absolutely horrible, um, but you know, you win some, you lose some when it comes to Shein. The back looks like um, it's pretty high up there and you can see the stitching is just terrible, but we'll see what it looks like on it. Maybe good enough to use for a photo shoot, probably not functional for actual real life activities. All right, so this monokini number is super sexy on. It'll look really good in a photo shoot. I'll definitely wear this for a shoot. However, it fits really strange. Um, it has the cross straps in the back, but there's no way to adjust this, so it just fits really odd. The bottoms are huge, but it's like <sighs> riding up my crotch. Not the most comfortable swimsuit. I would 100% not wear this to the beach, um, but it will look good for one look in a photo shoot where I can kind of like maneuver it, where you can't really see the quality of this or the sizing of it. Um, and it'll look good in a photo, but I would never wear this to the beach, so three out of 10. All right, so that is it for this Shein swimwear haul. Sometimes there's good pieces, sometimes they're okay, sometimes they're just enough for a picture, but other than that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more try-on hauls, let me know. I usually prefer more higher-end brands, but Shein sometimes does the trick just as good. I will be posting videos every week, so please subscribe to my channel and like this video. All of my social media is tagged below where you can see me wear these bikinis in real life and on photo shoots. So please give me a follow and I appreciate you guys so much.